Today, we're going to be reviewing Turbo Dork's LVO exclusives. Not So Average Builder is brought to you by these great retailers. There will be promo codes in the description below. They sent me Hyperculture and 4D glasses. Now, I've done 3D glasses already, but from what I'm seeing on the label is it's a much starker transition from the uh, reg transition from green to purple instead of just this traditional blue to purple. So there's that extra element in there. And the Hyperculture is a nice solid purple that transitions into blue. Just like with any other Turbo Shift paint, you want to read the instructions, and they're awesome because they put them on the side of the bottle. Uh, this one says it must be applied over a black undercoat, and this one is the same thing. If there is a difference on these, any of the ones that they do, they will let you know on the side of the bottle. If you look at this one, this is mother load, it says on the side of the bottle must be applied over a white undercoat. So they do give you that, and that is something really cool about Turbodor. So I'm going to load one of these up in my airbrush. Uh, if you want to know how to thin these, I do have a video, and there is one on Turbo Dork's website. You can check that out. I'll kind of go over it real quick, nothing major. I think we're going to start with 40 glasses because I'm excited about the Hyperculture. Old handy dandy flow improver. Don't mind my incredibly dirty airbrush stand. You can see that. I'm not going to put much in here, as you can hear. This is something, another really cool thing that Greg does, and I'm pretty sure Meredith do over at Turbo Dork. I'm just going to put, oh, well, eight drops in there. Alright, drop the PSI down. You can see the purple on this side when something highly reflects on it. Let's see. But no amount of camera work does these justice. So anytime there's anything darker introduced, instead of coming off as a white or a lighter color, it comes off as this purple. Gorgeous color. Gorgeous. I'll let this dry. Move on. The hyperculture. Thank you. 
so on camera this looks green but i promise you it is amazing you can see hues of purple down here it in the brightest point it's obviously green and then it transitions into that purple this is a really good solid color and i hope that it's something that they release i'm not sure if they actually have released this as a regular but if not they should it it is kind of better than the 3D glasses. I was not a big fan of the 3D glasses, but 40, uh, that really steps it up. Now, of course, my personal favorite, and for some reason, their blue to purples just, mm, man, they get me. My absolute favorite that they've made so far is their blue raspberry. The transition on that is amazing. The just color properties are amazing, but this stuff, uh, I kind of like it a lot more or as much as blue raspberry it's kind of a tough call it's more of a smooth transition and you can tell that based on the bottle too it's you know a very small blue to purple transition and that kind of i don't know it just sets it off and you can really see it on here i mean you can really see look at that just streak of purple right there Ooh, yeah uh these paints are amazing uh, Turbo Dork needs to release them. If not, then uh, you guys are missing out big time. Unless you went to LVO and you got to try these paints out and you have these paints, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. These two right here are amazing. I've been meaning to get on top of things and get more Turbo Dork stuff out. It has just been crazy hectic. So I'm going to do that starting with these LVO exclusives. So give these a shot. Now I do have a metric ton that will be coming up on the channel very soon. I had sent all these a while back, just before they were introduced, and I was going to have a like drop day review on them, but I got very discouraged. There were people that had gotten these that did not listen to Turbo Dork's wishes and just, you know, kind of give hints but not reveal anything. And there were a bunch of people that he sent this stuff to that just revealed the ever-living crap out of it. And I got depressed, not depressed, but bummed, because it lost that shock value that you get. So I figured since it's time that it's died down finally, the, the initial hype, let's bring it back. But the right way. So I'm going to try and do a series of videos on these paints using each one of their because there's like three different lines here um, and they all kind of play off each other and go well with each other so what we're going to do is we're going to try if I can get this going I need to get some resin but I had this guy 3d printed for me and I'm sorry that the white balance is blown out on that so I had this guy 3d printed I've sanded it smoothed it down in preparation for casting so instead of using spoons I want to have a metric ton of these little guys to paint so this is going to show a little bit of a flat angle but this is going to show different curves this is going to showcase different ideas and principles that the paint brings to your kits if you're painting miniatures then you know exactly what i'm talking about small areas with complex surfaces really make these paints pop a spoon doesn't do so well so i need to get some resin and I need to get some silicone so that I can make molds of these. I'm not going to get a vacuum chamber or a pressure pot or anything like that. Because it. I'm not looking for perfect castings. I'm not looking to sell these. I'm literally looking to, to use these as a substitute for spoons. Granted, yes, this is going to be more expensive. But I think that that complexity of the surface is going to showcase a lot better the paint itself. Especially on Turbo Dorks Turbo Shift paints like these. It just looks a whole lot better. For an example, the Noise Marine I painted a while back, that's Blue Raspberry. But it just kind of gives more of that, because it's a complex surface, you can really see that a lot better. I did the Blue Raspberry brush painting on here. It does really well. And I think with every paint from that point on, I'll probably do a series where I show you brush painting as well as uh, airbrushing just to make things easier, because I know there's a ton of people out there that don't have an airbrush or access to an airbrush, and that is perfectly fine. These acrylics, 
you thin them down properly, will brush like a dream. So keep that in mind. But I think that's it, guys. I don't want to change the subject on these too much. But these paints are amazing. If you don't know about Turbo Dork, you need to. Go to turbodork.com. Check their paints out. These are all here. I don't know if the LVO exclusives are on there. If not, there is 3D glasses and a good substitute for the hyper culture would be their blue raspberry. It's going to have a more stark contrast than this, but it is a good substitute if you can't find hyper culture. But that's all I've got, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.